because of the way both of these coaches like to change defenses, when you have zone defenses or matchup zones, offensive rebounding lanes are crucial. And there's a big three to start this game. He averaged eight points per game in SEC play, but he's taking great strides in the right direction. Another three. This is Damian Harmon. He's a Texas native. Really had to get over the bitter disappointment of being left out. Into the paint, the big shot block. And to keep playing basketball. And a near turnover. Good reaction by Quentin Jackson. Big time block, second of the game for the Ducks. That came from Eric Williams Jr. Luke War has entered the game for Oregon. And an Aggie throwaway. Here's Eric Williams. And they're throwing bodies after him left and right. Eric Williams Jr. Three ball and the Ducks have multiple scores back to back for Williams and close within 10. Here he is. The ball fake got him a moment. And he works it inside. Dante the follow jam. Wow. Good to have him back if you're a Duck fan. Oregon Ducks not finished yet. Whoa, Dante, I see you, big fella. You get the basketball inside, have the defense, and Eric Williams Jr. is able to knock down the three-point shot. Here's Quentin Jackson. Try to dump it off. Oregon with the takeaway. Ducks have made their last three. Make it Woo! four in a row. This is pretty entertaining, too, huh? Uh -huh. It's like a brunch, early morning brunch. A couple of pump fakes and Dante James at home. Another touch for Dante. Got the double and fine scores. Really good look. Not to really use pressure, just hasn't been able to turn the Aggies over enough. And so he's going to sit back and just see if he can guard and manufacture some points. Well, he can guard with that. Dante with the block. <laughs> So anytime that you don't have a CEO at the helm is an opportunity for other people to come after your talent. Dante reverses it in.